Overwatch's 24th hero has finally arrived. She goes by the name of Arissa, and she is a tank with a, a bunch of utility that seems really interesting. Earlier today, I put up a live commentary gameplay video just to show you guys how she played, but here in this video, I'm gonna jump into the nitty gritty and talk about all of her abilities and some detailed information, including damage values, cooldowns, and durations. Let's start off with her basic weapon, the Fusion Driver. This is described as an automatic projectile cannon that delivers sustained damage. She is slowed while she fires it, sort of similar to D.Va's weapon as well. Now there are 200 rounds in the mag, and from my testing, it takes 17 body shots to kill a 200 HP hero, or 9 headshots. This looks to come out to 12 damage per shot, so using that value, in 200 rounds, she can unload an entire mag in a roughly 17 seconds. This would come out to 11.7 rounds per second, which totals, with that 12 damage per shot, about 140 DPS. So it's respectable, certainly not on the high end, but it's definitely not terrible. Now, what's worth noting is that there's no bloom on her attack, but it does have a default spread. Targets that are closer to you that will fit inside the entirety of your crosshair, you'll deal a lot more damage to than targets who are further away. Some bullets will miss as they spread within, within that default spread. It's also worth noting that this is not a hit scan weapon. It is a projectile weapon, but they are relatively fast moving projectiles. Anyone close to you, you'll be able to kill pretty easily as long as your crosshair is lined up directly with their body. However, fast moving targets or targets that are further away, you're gonna have to lead them because again, it's not hit scan, it is a projectile. You'll have to learn how to judge how much you need to lead a target depending on how far away from you they are. So that's the basics of her weapon. Now let's move on to her first skill, Halt. This is actually her alternate fire ability. She launches out a graviton charge, which she can detonate, and it slows nearby enemies as well as pulls them towards the explosion. This has an 8 second cooldown, it does no damage, but it will grab any targets within line of sight that are roughly 7 meters away from the explosion location. Now you do need line of sight. If you toss this and a target moves out of line of sight before it detonates, they will not be pulled in. However, it can pull people towards it. So if someone's hiding behind cover and you toss this out and detonate it, it will pull them towards the epicenter of that detonation. It's also worth noting that it passes through your targets. It will not explode when it hits a target, only when it hits terrain or when you activate the ability again to detonate it. And also because of the nature of the pull, you can toss people over ledges. Yes, that is a possibility. If someone's close enough to it near a ledge and you detonated over that ledge, they'll be pulled towards it and dropped over said ledge. It also appears to travel several hundred meters before exploding. Now, on my testing, I can't tell if it travels an infinite distance or if it was just hitting the edge of the map, but it is at least several hundred meters from what I could tell. Halt is a really, really interesting ability, and I can see it being very strong just by the nature of it being able to shift your opponent's position. And, and also, don't forget, it applies a slow as well. I didn't get the exact duration of the slow, but it appears to not last more than one or two seconds from what I could see. Her second skill is Protective Barrier. With this, Orisa throws out a stationary barrier that can protect her and her allies from enemy fire. It's got a 12 second cooldown and a total of 900 HP. Its width appears to be a bit smaller than that of Reinhardt Shields, but it's certainly a respectable size. In fact, we could equate it pretty closely to the size of Symmetra's moving barrier barrier. However, this one stays in place. It'll last for 20 seconds or until it is destroyed, all 900 HP gets attacked. It also fires in an arc from her left arm. So if you aim high enough, it can travel what appears to be well over 70 meters, quite a distance. And her third skill is Fortify. With this, Orisa temporarily reduces damage she takes and she cannot be affected by action and pairing effects. So this has a 10 second cooldown and from my calculations, it looks like it actually reduces incoming damage by 50%. She can also still move and fire while it is active, so it doesn't stop you from doing anything else. And again, besides the damage reduction, it has that fringe benefit of making her immune to CC effects. So that's going to be things like Pharaoh's knockback or even Maze slow. While she is fortified, that those things do not affect her. And then finally, we have her ultimate supercharger. This is really interesting. Orisa deploys a device to 
increased damage inflicted by allies within her line of sight. So the way this works is that it will buff allied damage what looks to be 50%. Anyone in within line of sight of this device up to 25 meters away will be affected by this damage boost. It's got a duration of 15 seconds once it's deployed or until it gets destroyed. That's right, the enemies can destroy it and it only has 200 HP. So it's not gonna last very long if you don't put your shield up in front of it. If you don't body block incoming damage, you gotta protect it if you wanna get the full 15 seconds of damage boost out of this. So that does it for this video, guys. I just wanted to give you a, a detailed in-depth look at all of the values of her skills. And I don't know, it's really cool. She's a really interesting looking hero. I've had a lot of fun with Arissa so far. I'm gonna be really interested to see where she fits in and kind of how the game plays around the addition of this new tank character with a bunch of utility. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for me here today. As always, I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you have a good one. And until next time, I'll see you later.